Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Key Facts, Trigonometric Graphs, Question 5, Y is equivalent to A the sine of BX plus C. To order this complete CRAM session, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com and be sure to spread the word to your friends and classmates so that they can order as well. Definitely inquire about other subject areas. Let's delve into the problem together. Review question five. A student attaches one end of a rope to a wall at a fixed point three feet above ground, as shown here in the accompanying diagram. The student moves the other end of the rope up and down, producing a wave described by the equation y is equivalent to a, the sine of bx plus c. The range of the rope's height above ground is between one foot and five feet. The period of the wave is four pi. Write an equation that represents the wave. All right, so now is the time to press pause and I'll give you a moment to put your answer together, okay? All right, so hopefully by now you are able to press pause and come up with an answer. And if you weren't able to do that, it's completely fine. Let's do this together. All right, so what we're going to need to do basically is um, draw a diagram, okay? And uh, remember, recall that we're told our equation of interest is going to be of the form y is equivalent to a, the sine of bx plus c, okay? And you need to know that once the student begins to move um, the end of the rope up and down, it will no longer look like the original picture in the previous diagram, okay? And I, a word of caution to you, because c is a constant added to this a function, it represents the value of a vertical shift, okay? That's a shift in the y-axis, not a phase shift, which is a shift in the x-axis, all right? Because the common usage for um, this variable is usually a phase shift in the y-axis, but here we're using it to denote a vertical shift, all right? So that's just a quick word of caution. Sorry for any confusion. And just note that the, the variables A, B, C um, used in these positions are arbitrary. Other letters can be and are sometimes used instead, okay? So the amplitude, which is going to be the absolute value, is half the distance um, from the maximum to the minimum value. The minimum is one, and the maximum is going to be five because we're told that here in the question stem. So when we divide this by two, which is the same thing as multiplying it by one half, what we're going to get is two, okay? So five minus one divided by two is going to be four divided by two or two, okay? All right, let's continue. And the frequency um, B, that can be expressed as B is equivalent to two pi over the period. Well, we were told the period. We were told that the period is equivalent to four pi. Therefore, our frequency is going to be one half. So two things that we have already are basically our um, A and our B values, okay? So we have this, it's two, and we have this, it's one half. Not the X, just the B, okay? Alrighty then. 
So the next thing we have to figure out is um, our vertical distance shift C. The vertical distance between um, the x-axis and the center line of the graph here um, is basically going to be our C, okay? And so let's see, let's see how we're going to do this. So um, the po it's positive if the center line is translated up from the x-axis. And here we see that this translation is definitely going upward as opposed to, you know, going down like so. So the sign of the graph basically has um, been translated up three feet from one, two, which is not shown here, to the center line at three, okay? Therefore, our C value is going to be equivalent to three. Thus, one possible equation for the wave is y equals 2, the sine of 1 half x plus 3. All right, so I'll give you a moment to take it all in. Thanks for your time, and again, definitely spread the word, and definitely order the entire cram session. Okay, all right.